actually started working here at the university in 2003. And so this particular conference um, has been offered to graduates that I've worked with from 2003. I was chatting with someone this morning and she said in her faculty they've been having a debate about why all of the others who have graduated from the University of Sydney in secondary mathematics couldn't come as well. And um, where's Katie? So Katie's here for a, a slightly different purpose. Katie, what year did you do your dip ed at the University of Sydney? Uh, 1990. 1990. And so is there anyone else in the audience who would, did their dip ed here before 1990? I'm going to put my hand up. <laughs> I did my dip ed here in 1975, 74. You're all sitting up. <laughs> my gosh, she's still standing. <laughs> and she doesn't have a Zimmer frame yet. She's only 10 years old and did it. Oh, I know. Thank you, Stuart. That's why Stuart works with Zimmers. I always employ people who say nice things. So let's go back then, 2003. So who was here in 2003 in doing mathematics curriculum? they're not here yet. We've got a few people not here yet. They're all sleeping in school holidays. 2004? No. 2005? Yes. I knew we had, yeah, we've got quite a few actually from that year group. Okay. Hands up again. People are looking around to see if you can see who's who. Okay. 2006? Yeah, Rebecca. I thought we had a few more last year actually from that group. 2007, we've already had the 2007 group. 2008. Okay, 7, 8, yeah. 9. Who was here in 9? A few more. Welcome. And 10. A few more. 11. Only one little hand up the back. 12. A couple more. We're getting a, a small group in each year. 13. Uh -huh. 14. And of course, we've got the current students. Hand up if you're a current, in other words, the pre service teachers who are now here working with Stuart and Maria and myself. Okay. There's, there's quite a few of you actually. Okay, so we've got a real smattering. Now, we've also got some of you who are already in head teacher positions. So, who are those people who are actually in? head teacher positions in your school. <coughs> Come on, hands up. Let's see you. Quite a few. Anybody in a different leadership position apart from head teacher or coordinator of mathematics? So Katie, Sophie. Sophie, what role are you in? Uh, of course, with a background in Microsoft, I'm not surprised. Yeah. So now would you ride up into that role? Yeah. Actually, on that note, can we have hands up to those people who are career changers? Come on, this quite, there's a few more of you. There's nothing to be shamed about. I think it's actually a good thing. So we get quite a few people through every year who are actually changing their career to become a mathematics teacher, which I think is fantastic. Um, okay, so more of that to come. Has, is Matthew here today? Yeah. Matthew. I thought I had to have the photo of you when you were here last year uh, doing um, a hands-on or a practical activity in mathematics. See, mathematics is not all about textbooks and chalk and talk, is it, guys? Hey, where's the response? <laughs> <laughs> haven't I brainwashed you? If I haven't, I know Stuart has and I know Maria has as well. Okay, so can we now just have a quick hands-up for the people who are all first-year out teachers? All of you who are, there we are. So the people who you've just completed one term in the system and you're exhausted, am I right? I can vividly remember in 1975 at Engadine High School, that was my first appointment, at the end of term one, going to the principal, knock, 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 I'm really sorry, I'm not cut out for this. This is a true story. And he was shocked. He said, how come? You're going fine. I 
said, no, you know, I'm really having trouble with this top year eight class I've got, who, you know, could see me as green as I was, and as a consequence, we're deciding to, you know, take me for a bit of a ride. And uh, anyway, he said, I want you to go, you need a holiday. I want you to go and have a rest. That's the problem. And I want you to come back after the holidays and I want you to come and see me. And I want to have a conversation about this because I really don't think you should quit. I think you've got the makings of being a good teacher if you hang in. Everybody finds the first term tough. So I went and had a holiday and I went back and it was a different world. Suddenly when I walked into year eight and said, good morning year eight, I didn't get quite the same response again. It was amazing. Now, I don't know whether it was them or me or both of us, but term two was a whole lot easier than term one. And term three was even easier again. And guess what? The second year I was there, I wasn't a new teacher anymore. It was even better still. So it was amazing how with experience, with the students accepting me as a teacher, not just a newbie, how things changed and how the job became so much easier. Well, enough of reminiscing. We'll do more of that during the day and I'm really looking forward to catching up with all of you and talking more about what you're doing and where you are and having the pre-service teachers chat with the teachers. But to officially welcome you all here, I'd like to introduce you to our new Dean for the Faculty of Education and Social Work. Uh, Professor Di Mayer arrived here in November last year as our Dean of Education and Social Work really enjoyed working with Di so far. She has been incredibly supportive of secondary mathematics and science on a range of initiatives, and we'll tell you more about the STEM initiatives later in the day.